The redevelopment agency meeting of November 20. Wow. Okay, so my script is wrong. You are fired. Okay. <laughs> The redevelopment agency meeting of December 18, 2019 is called to order. This meeting has been properly noticed and posted in compliance with the open meeting law. These proceedings are being video recorded as well as presented live on KCLV, cable channel two, and are closed captioned for our hearing impaired viewers. Please note customers of the CenturyLink and Cox Communication can view this program in high definition on channel 1002 and in standard definition on channel two. You can also watch this meeting live on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV, or go to uh, go-vegas-app. The redevelopment agency meeting, as well as all other KCLV programming, can be viewed on the internet at www.kclv.tv backslash live.com. The proceedings will be rebroadcast on KCLV Channel 2 and the web the Wednesday of the meeting at 8 p.m. And also on Friday at 4 a.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 7 a.m., and the following Monday at 5 p.m. This building is protected by a state-of-the-art fire detection and suppression sprinkler system. If alarms should activate during today's meeting, Please evacuate using the exits at the back of the chambers out of the mezzanine. Proceed out the double doors to the terrace and down the back staircase. For anyone that has difficulty with stairs, please check with a marshal or a fire official for assistance. Once outside, assemble on the northeast corner across the street from City Hall at Lewis and First Street. Employees wearing safety vests or our city marshals will inform you when it is safe to re-enter our building. For public comment related to the items on the agenda, citizen participation and public hearing items, we have available a speaker card which you can complete and submit to the city clerk. Cards are available in the city clerk's office or at the rear of the chambers. If you do not submit a card, it does not prevent you from speaking under public comment, citizens participation or specified public hearing items. If there is anyone present today that has a need for hearing impaired equipment, please see the city clerk's staff. If you are parked in the parking garage across the street, a self-validation machine is located in the foyer between council chambers and the security desk you walked through to enter these chambers. You must have your ticket with you to use the machine. If you do not have your ticket, see security personnel when exiting for a validation coupon. We're going to move to agenda item three. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. The amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. All comments made will be cross-referenced with those specific items. If anyone submitted a speaker card or who wishes to speak under this portion of the agenda, please come to the podium and state your name for the record. We'll set the time in a minute. Wow, the crowd is running up. <laughs> Thank you. Let's move on to item number four for possible action to approve the final minutes by reference of the regular redevelopment agency meeting as of uh, November, is that date correct? November 20th, 2019, okay. Um, Councilwoman Seaman, is there a motion to approve these minutes? Madam Mayor Pro Tem, I move to approve the minutes of the November 20th, 2019 redevelopment agency meeting. Thank you. Let's vote and post. And the motion carries. Now to agenda item five, discussion for possible action to accept the City of Las Vegas Redevelopment Agency Component Union uh, Comprehensive Annual Finance Report for physical year ending June 30th, 2019. Ms. Appleyard. Good morning. Good morning. Appleyard for you. <laughs> Director of Finance, sorry, the mic wasn't on. Uh, you have, the item you have before you is the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report for the Redevelopment Agency. NRS requires that we are audited by an outside CPA firm, and in addition, it needs to be accepted by the board. 
And with that, we with that we received this year an unmodified opinion, which is also known as a clean opinion, and it says that our financial statements fairly present the the financial position of the redevelopment agency. And I have with me today Tom Donahue, who is the managing partner of Piercy, Bowler, Taylor, and Kern, and he would like to speak on behalf of how the audit was performed. Thank, thank you, Vanetta. Uh, Tom Donahue with Piercy, Bowler, Taylor, and Kern. Good morning. Uh, Vanetta summed it up very well. We've completed the audit of the redevelopment agency and issued our unmodified opinion. As Vanetta said, that's the opinion you want to get. Um, in addition to that, we, as part of the audit, we looked at the RDA's internal controls over financial reporting and compliance, and we noted no significant issues or deficiencies in that regard. Uh, in terms of other deliverables uh, to the board in this case, the board of the RDA, uh, in your meeting materials, you should have gotten a, uh, what we call a required communications letter, which contains all of the exciting, you know, titillating uh, communications that auditors are required to communicate to board members. I'll summarize the ones that I think are the most important. Um, the audit resulted in no significant adjustments to the RDA's financial statements. No difficulties or contentious matters were encountered. No disagreements with management. Management cooperated fully during the audit. Uh, no reportable matters regarding internal control were noted. No fraud or legal activities were noted. Um, and no instances of material noncompliance with laws, regulations, or contracts were noted. Um, before I leave, I'd like to thank Vanetta and her staff for their cooperation during the audit. Uh, it's, it's always a pleasure working with her and her team. Um, and with that, I'd be happy to field any questions from the board uh, as it relates to the audit. Any questions? Thank you. Okay. Councilwoman Seaman, may I have a motion? Yes. Uh, I make I make a motion to approve. Thank you. Let's vote and post. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That motion passes. Citizen participation, public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the redevelopment agency. No subject may be acted upon by the redevelopment agency unless that subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, please come to the podium and give your name for the record. The amount of the discussion time will be uh, limited. City Clerk, um, is there anyone wishing to speak under this agenda? Seeing none, uh, the redevelopment agency is adjourned. We will start our council meeting at 9 a.m. sharp.